This is a 2019 Jeep Renegade and this is the Trailhawk Edition. We'd like to thank our friends at Apple Autos of Shakopee where they sell Jeep, Ram, Dodge, and Chrysler vehicles for loaning us this beautiful 2019 Jeep Renegade. Hey folks, I'm Rob. And I'm Nathan. And we are Two, Two Guys, Guys in a Ride. Ride. And today, we're gonna take a look at this 2019 Jeep Renegade. This is the Trailhawk trim level. Now, if you wanna keep up to date on new cars, trucks, and SUVs, and you wanna know all the latest technologies, and you love cool collector cars, take a second, hit that subscribe button below, and ring that bell notification up top so you never miss one of our videos. So what do you say, Rob? Hey, let's go for a ride. Let's go for a ride. All right. All right, so today is an exciting day for us because yep. Yep. we are in a Jeep. Woohoo! Yay! Which opens up a whole new world of possibilities here. So, first of many Jeep reviews yes. coming. We are in a 2019 Jeep Renegade, and it is the Trailhawk Edition. And you see this little piece right here. These are the AC vents, and that's on top of the dashboard. But there's really no other way we can fix the camera to make it uh, not show up. So you're getting a little bit of the dashboard there. So enjoy. Enjoy it, <laughs> yes. Seats are nice. They're firm. Mm -hmm. They certainly give you support. Um, they're slightly bolstered on, on the sides. Overall, this, the feel of the car it seems to ride really nicely. I should call it a truck. It's not really a, well, a, a, small, a small SUV. Yeah. Um, but road noise is good as far as uh, I don't hear a lot. Mm. Um, headroom. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Um, and when you drive, I'll ride in the back and we'll see. Okay. <laughs> so, legroom in the front, just fine. I'll mm -hmm. talk about that when I'm in the back when Rob's driving for the back seat. Um, um, the, just the overall ride quality, I like. I'd expected a stiffer ride hmm. than I'm getting. I like it. Yeah, I'm surprised with the. It's it's a smaller wheelbase, so I thought it'd be yes. a little more bouncy too. But it's not, and it's it's a quite a big square upright vehicle too. Looking at it, it's a boxy vehicle. But anyways, we, we've driven some vehicles that are boxy in shape, and it was all surprising how much room yeah. there ended up being on the inside because of the a box shape. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot of room back there. And it doesn't look like that from the outside. I'm I'm gonna pull over here as soon as I can find something that not, is not a lake. I was very comfortable where my seat was and I wasn't uh, at a loss for leg room. How are you back there now? I have several inches of leg room before I hit the seat. Okay. So, ample leg room back here. And, and headroom, both. Nice brake feel, mm -hmm. I like that, very confident nice brake feel um, decent pickup it's not a sports car it's got plenty I got up to 55 really quick there uh, it does feel a little bit sluggish but it is a little small engine in this four-wheel drive pretty heavy off-road vehicle so I, for merging traffic and around town and running errands and stuff, plenty of horsepower. Yeah. Um, you know, materials, kind of hard touch materials abound in here. There's a little softer on the dashboard, but there's hard surround, and, you know, hard surround around the shifter and on the door panel and such. But where your elbow falls, at least that's a nice cushioned area. Uh, 
you know, steering, very precise. Nathan has said that a few minutes ago. I mean, I don't want to swerve too much. Ugh. We do have these lakes right on the side of us again, so I don't, I don't want to uh, pop out the uh, flotation gear. <laughs> you do have a life jacket under your seat. Oh, under my seat. That's where it is. <laughs> I was starting to want to look for it. No, that is not an option, folks. That's only that's on airplanes. Not this. Ah. Uh, overall, I'm surprised. It is pretty quiet. It is. And it, because of that box shape, it's yeah. roomy. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm and, really surprised. That, and you sit upright. You're not sitting in. I feel like I'm sitting upright more like an SUV. Yeah. Uh, would do or a, or a oh, small you're, truck. Oh, you're up high. Yeah. Yep. You definitely get that, that SUV feeling, yeah. But I like the seat bottoms. The seat bottoms give a lot of thigh support as well. So it's overall pretty comfortable. I'm just not sure about all the hard touch plastics, but, I, you know, it is at a price point as well. So... But overall, nicely done. Nice you know, it's got it, it's it, it's got a smooth shift points. It does. Yeah. I mean, you're not noticing a, a real. It's not jerky. No. Only when I use the brakes. No. Only <laughs> yes. Only when you use the brakes. This is true. So, Nathan, you ready for the yes. brake test? Ready. All right. I like Holy it. Holy buckets! Nice and secure. So, coming up next, our outside review, and then Nathan's going to take you for a tour of the inside yeah. and show you all the neat things on this car. There are seven trim levels for the Renegade, starting with a Sport at 22,275, the Upland at 25,070, the Latitude 25,625, the Altitude 26,620. This is the Trailhawk, starts at 27,795. Then there's the Limited, starting at 28145 And finally, the 4x4 High Altitude. Now, all of those that I mentioned were 4x4s, but the 4x4 High Altitude starts at $30,145. Uh, this vehicle is driven by 1.3 liter inline turbo four-cylinder, producing 177 horsepower and 200 pound-feet of torque. It also has a nine-speed automatic transmission. There are four-wheel disc brakes, independent front and rear suspension, front suspension skid plate, fuel tank skid plate shield, transfer case skid plate, transmission skid plate, and it does have hill descent control and hill, uh, uh, hill start assist. Easy for me to say, right? Now on the front end, you do have that, that uh, real good old reliable, easily noticeable um, seven slat front Jeep grill and on this this particular trim does have the LED package so you do have the LED headlights the LED cornering fog lights the LED fog lights and running lights uh, you also have automatic headlights with this and on out back you do have LED tail lights as well this particular vehicle also comes with the cold weather group 2 which includes heated front seats heated steering wheel windshield wiper de-icer and of course the passive entry remote start. Uh, on the back side here, or going down the side, you can see it is the trail rated 4x4. And you do have the turn signals in the mirrors and you do have the proximity switch for the easy lock and unlock. You just come right up and you push the button and that'll lock or unlock the car uh, to let you in. Back on the fuel filler, you do have the capless fuel fill. Now those uh, power, or excuse me, the outside mirrors, I should have said, they are power and they are heated as well. And I do like, you see, you do have the body side cladding over the wheel arches and along the bottom as well to help protect the paint. You can see out back the same thing. Now it does have a removable short mast antenna. I guess that's if you're going through the woods, like you see our backdrop here, uh, so it doesn't get knocked off with a tree limb or something like that. And the backside does have a rear window defroster. It does have a 12.7 gallon fuel tank, and the fuel mileage is 22 city, 27 highway. Now, overall width of the vehicle, get back here and show you that. Hopefully not gonna get you in the sun. Here we go. Overall width of the vehicle is 79.6 inches. Overall length is 166.6 inches. Rides on a wheelbase of 101.2 inches. Now the lift, the trunk lift over height from the ground is 30.2 inches. 
and the curb to curb turning diameter is 35.3 let me show you inside real quick that's the lift i was talking about that's um 30.2 inches from the ground now cargo capacity behind the first row if you've got both rear seats folded down is 50.8 cubic feet and overall ground clearance on this vehicle is 8.7 inches now out front the approach angle for taking this off road is 30 and a half degrees 30.5 degrees the breakover angle 25.7 degrees and the departure angle 34.3 degrees now for some of those out there that are watching this video and don't quite understand uh, what these this terminology is on the approach angle that means how steep of a ramp or rock or log a vehicle can meet without scraping the front end the departure angle is similar to the approach angle except related to leaving rather than approaching an obstacle and the breakover angle relates to how big of a thing a vehicle can drive over without getting stuck the breakover angle is related to the ground clearance but not exactly the same thing in all circumstances a larger degree of angle of course is better for off-roading now this vehicle does have trailer sway damping and towing capacity is a maximum of 2,000 pounds when properly equipped with a trailer hitch and lighting and all that and this vehicle does not have that now the renegade has not yet been fully tested by the national highway traffic safety administration having earned four stars out of five for rollover and frontal frontal crashes in two-wheel drive format and three stars for rollovers and four stars for frontal cr crashes with four-wheel drive side crash results have not yet been reported for either version now some of the cool things i like on this vehicle i love the tail lights and we'll get a picture of that with nathan putting on the brake lights later i like how they light up in an x pattern but one of the easter eggs i found here hopefully the camera can get it uh let's see there is the little jeep grill and headlight imposed in the tail lights i love that another place the jeep grill and headlights are on the inside back hatch there we go there's the seven slats and round headlights as well really cool i like it it is pretty much a box on wheels you do have as we were talking about earlier a lot of uh, storage and capacity on the inside for headroom and storage and people room another thing i want to show you here real quick is you see it says jeep performance lighting on the led headlights and you got red tow hooks in the front you've got a couple of those like the wheels and overall i like the styling nice job on the styling it is a boxy shape so it's almost like most other suvs it is a box on wheels so to give it its own personality to give it to make it look like a jeep they've done a very good job at doing that with the over overall styling so coming up i'm gonna let nathan stew a little bit and not let him in this car because he or suv because he really wants to to show you this and show you what's on the inside because it is really cool there's a couple more easter eggs in there and i hope he finds it oh i think he's here he's ready he's ready all right nathan it's all yours your turn take the folks on tour of the inside you heard the car asking for me yeah. right, <laughs> all right is that what it was oh cool all right and stepping on the inside of the 2019 jeep renegade uh here we go we have got uh, and this is the uh trail hawk edition so over here you've got auto up and down um front windows and regular rear windows and you've got the window lockout your locks down here and then your mirror cursor controls and then you just kind of move this thing um to just select your right or left mirrors all right uh, I like the door handle. I like the, the satin chrome on there. And then the, the, the door lock is the same color. Um, I do like um, how when you rotate it, you actually get a little lock emblem right there. And then, um, yep, it's just the one emblem. Hey, down here, yeah, I, I, I like the red accents. You notice the Jeep emblem on the speaker uh, housing here. 
This does have a six speaker system. We'll get to that in just a little bit. Uh, bottle holder here, a little storage right there. Hey, moving over to the driver's seat, you have got all manual controls. So you do have up and down. You've got tilt in the back. And then of course you've got forward and back. So six way. And then the seats themselves are beautiful. They're they're cloth with an accident red stitching. They say Trailhawk, and and uh, you know the the people who designed this have just hidden all sorts of little gems around here. So uh, take a look at the pattern on the seat. It's actually a map. It's got depths and and locations. It's just really cool. The, all the little details, and this is just the driver's seat. So you know the passenger seat. Of course, has the Trailhawk edition uh, written on there, uh, stitched on there, and then of course the same. Looks like a plot of a, a, a lake, or I guess it could be land too. Um, but just really, really neat. I, I love those little those little details in here. All right, so up uh, underneath here, you've got your left foot rest, you got your foot feet, and then way down under here, where is it here? Oh yeah, right under here. It's a little hard to see for me. There's your hood release right there. You do have a little Jeep showing you that it's down there for the release lever. Okay, moving on up here, you do have auto lights. So you can switch it to auto, you can leave it permanently on, you can put your parking lights on or off. And then a push is your fog lamps. This of course here controls your interior dome lights. Okay, this one controls your dashboard lights. Okay. I like I love the black with the red accents in here. Because this is kind of like I think it's coming across pretty good on camera, but this is like a, a satin red. Kind of like you know, we had the satin chrome finish here. It's like all the red is the same thing. Satin chrome just covered covered in red. So we'll just go up here and we'll give it a start. You see that back grayed out vision of a, a grill, a Jeep grill. I love that. Okay, so don't worry, my tire pressures aren't, my tires aren't about to explode. That is in KPA uh, pressure measurement. All right, you got a tack on the left, you've got your speedometer on the right, and then in the middle, you have a seven inch TFT screen with uh, all sorts of different features here. And if, if you want to see a video that shows uh, much more detail about what this does, uh, what all this can do, then you're going to want to look down in the infotainment section and look for a Jeep infotainment video. Okay, we'll also put a link to that in the description below. All right, but it, it's just awesome. Okay, coming back here, you got basically your cursor controls that control your driver's information screen in the middle there. Down here, you've got your phone on, phone off, and voice command, okay? And then over here on the right side of the steering wheel, you've got your cruise control. So uh, set, um, plus and minus, resume, cancel, and then on and off. Well, your um, rain, uh, it does have rain sensing windshield wipers. Um, those are over here on your right. You notice the A for auto there. And then over here on your left, you have your turn signals and then your pass, uh, your flash to pass. Uh, bright lights, a um, little different dashboard here. It's very low line, which is nice because you get a good view of the hood. Um, but then the hood drops off right away, so you get a good, good view of the street in front of you. But uh, right here in the middle, um, you have two of the vents, and you have two controlling levers over here to open and close those. Okay, moving down here, this is a seven inch screen. So there is a bigger screen um, that's available, and that's an 8.4 inch. But um, again, if you want a detailed video of this, uh, look down our infotainment video and you'll see that. But real basically, um, you, can, you can move back and forth with the arrows here. It does have heated seats in the front. It has a heated steering wheel. And those can all be turned on right here. These are your, like your shortcuts. And the other thing you can do is you can take an icon from here and drag it down here. Now it will replace one of these. You can only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven down here. Okay, this is Bluetooth capable and it will do um, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And again, it's six speakers. Okay, moving on down. You got your physical volume button right here. You've got a power on off push. You have a mute button, your hazards, 
and then you can turn this screen off. We've seen that in one other vehicle. And I absolutely love that, especially for night driving. And then this one is a tuning button. Okay, you can scroll through the stations. Okay, if I hit the browse or the enter button, I can now go through my presets and wherever I get to the one I want, I can, I can hold it, push it in and hold it to set it. Here you have dual auto climate control. Okay, you do also have controls on the screen if you wish. So we'll just press here and then, you know, you can switch modes right there. Let's go here. So pushing this button down here does the same thing, but it shows it to you on the screen. Okay, um, the one button that you would have to go to is if the passengers change their temperature, in order to sync it back, you do need to go into the climate control system on the infotainment and press sync. All right, coming down here, you've got a variety of modes. We've got auto, snow, sand, mud, and rock. And then for low, for wheel drive lock, and then hill descent control. So as I spin this dial, it's going to change the modes, but it's more fun to watch it up on the screen. So here we go. There we go. There's snow. There's sand. Uh, there's mud. Okay, I'd have to shift to... Um, for low to get in rock so but yeah well the thing i like is that they have a little renegade for each of those okay moving down here you have a usb plug-in right down here along with an auxiliary this will plug into uh, the apple carplay or the android auto and then you have a 12 volt outlet right here moving down here i, I like the fact i've never seen green backlit green uh, shift numbers here i like that um and then, of course, it does have Tiptronic shifting if you want to manually shift. Just put it in drive and put it over here, and then you can do up or down for plus or minus. Okay, moving on down. This has even more features. you got auto start uh, on or off right here. This is a parking brake. You pull it to turn it on, and you press it to release it. And then you can turn the traction control off. Now, down here, you've got dual cup holders with a nice rubber insert. Okay, moving on from the cup holders, we come to the armrest. This is a sliding armrest, so you can adjust it. And when you have it adjusted all the way out, you can't feel the handle, so it does need to be shoved all the way back. Then you can grab this little black handle and lift it up. Okay, and you have got some very deep storage. Okay. Moving over here, you've got a unique grab handle here in the Renegade to hang on to. Uh, you've also got a grab handle above here, right here. Okay. The mirrors are illuminated on both sides. Closes. These are telescoping, but in addition to that, you've got a pullout right here on both sides. You do have a uh, day-night mirror right here. And then up here, you've got, of course, your, um, where are we? There we go, the lighting, your dome lamps right here. Okay, and then that's about it right up here. You do have a little light that'll come on um, at night here and just kind of bathe this in a little bit of light to make it easier to see things. All right, stepping in the back of the Renegade here, we've got uh, kind of the same setup, except for you don't you don't get the red accent on the um, speaker. You do get the Jeep it, uh, face though, which I like. Okay, you got your window controls here. You still got the nice satin chrome trim. And when you turn that lock button, it does give you that nice display right there. All right, the passenger side seat does have a uh, mat pocket back here. And then as far as uh, items that are behind the armrest, uh, you've got uh, another USB plug-in here. And then you have an additional household plug-in right there. Okay, the back seat itself is a 60-40 split. So, there is no... And there is no armrest back here, so it's just a, a straight seat. Um, I, I like, though, again, you can see this river pattern. It's like a plot map for a river. Um, is on both sides of the seat. I really, really, really like that. All right. Uh, in addition to that, okay, you've got your grab handles up here, and then, of course, you do have your back dome line. All right, so on the back of the Renegade, Oh man, that's you know five six inches of headroom and legroom. This is where the seat was when I was just up there. I was driving around. It's adjusted for me. I'm five foot eleven and a half, and plenty of room. I've got at least 
two inches here. So overall, a very roomy SUV. Um, we've seen some box style uh, SUVs before and they've always been a surprise on the inside. Um, not this time, I was expecting it and it didn't disappoint me at all. Um, oodles of headroom, legroom, knee room, um, comfortable back seats, and uh, you had a, a quite a bit of storage uh, for luggage. So a very nice car. We hope you've enjoyed this review. Okay, wanted to show you my favorite thing about this vehicle, and it's the design of the wheels. I really do like those, and I purposely left that off earlier in my overall review. But these are 17 by six and a half inch aluminum wheels. They are covered with 215 65R17 black sidewall all season on off-road tires. And that is my favorite thing. So my favorite thing is all these little uh, it, things they've hidden on the truck. Uh, this, this Jeep emblem here, right here from the early Jeeps, right on the speaker housing. Love that. 